Keep in mind that for this project, your collage background should reflect something about your chosen person or character. Collage simply means that you will be gluing paper for your background. You are welcome to throw in some other mixed media elements as well. Some paper products you can collage with include construction paper, recycled paper, and found paper items, tissue paper, or even handmade items. You are welcome to paint and draw on papers for this. You can use any and all of these glue options, glue sticks, liquid glue, Mod Podge, and if you're including some other items that aren't paper, you might want to use a little bit of hot glue. But remember, for paper items, glue stick, liquid glue, and Mod Podge are best. Only use hot glue for non-paper items. Be sure to keep your background fairly light. You want to make sure that your black sharpie dots stick out on top of your background. So light colors really work well for this. Lastly, I encourage you to check your collage arrangement before you glue anything down. So lay your transparent sheet on top of your collage just to make sure everything is as it should appear. Okay, so for the background behind my Kevin picture, I have a couple different solutions I want to walk through. This first one, I'm going to use Mod Podge. And I've already arranged the pieces that I'm going to be Mod Podging, just so that way I can kind of check out how it all looks. Um, make sure everything, I can see everything that I want to see. Um, I'm going to solve a little bit of the issues here in the center of his face later, but right now I just want to get all these glued down. So I'm going to start by taking a little bit of Mod Podge on my brush and I'll carefully lift a few of these pieces. Luckily, some of them are like post-it notes, so they're kind of stuck in place. But I'm going to brush the Mod Podge underneath and then also I will go back and brush the Mod Podge on top. Because if you remember from the journal workshops, the Mod Podge is sort of like a paper sandwich. You want to put the Mod Podge underneath the paper and then also seal it with a layer of Mod Podge on top. Now I'm going to work on lightening up some of the center area. I want to sort of push back some of this stuff that's in the center of Kevin's face. Um, and one of the easiest ways to do that is to actually Mod Podge some tissue paper on top. So if you take a light colored tissue paper, um, and then just Mod Podge right on top, you can build layers that you can still see through. All right, now I'm going to take some found elements that relate to my character and arrange those. I'm going to use an old deck of playing cards for this one because Kevin enjoys playing poker. Um, I'm going to carefully arrange them so that way some of the lighter colored cards are in the center. Again, that way I'm not distracting some of those details that are in his face. So occasionally you'll see that I lay the um, the transparency sheet on top. Sometimes you just have to hold it because the glue is wet, but it helps to give me an idea of where it's busy and where it's not. So I'm just going to keep filling this area up with cards. And okay, I like how that one looks too. Now I do want to encourage you to think about things besides just paper that you can arrange in a collage-like manner. Fabric can sometimes be really interesting to use. I have this little piece of an old shirt that my husband was getting rid of. It kind of looks like a like a button-up go-to-work shirt. So I'm going to hot glue this to my base board. I'm going to go ahead and secure it to all of the edges here. Because this shirt is thin, I want to make sure to use things like a popsicle stick when I'm smoothing down the shirt on top of the glue. All right, I'm really happy with where the buttons and everything turned out in relationship to his face. So next I'm going to work on creating some, uh, some extra pieces I can lay on top. I found these sales receipts that I filled in to reference things from the TV show and I arranged them so that way they go around Kevin's head. Our next step coming up is about how to put all these layers together with a frame. 